Hi, this is Ennis from Never Stop Trucking. We are talking about uh, difference uh, between loads and uh, what uh, things to consider when booking uh, these loads, uh, namely uh, dry loads, reefer loads and uh, flatbed loads because uh, these are the most ones uh, that are being booked in uh, uh, trucking industry you know, as far as the semi trucks go so uh, when you're uh, booking um, let's start with uh, flatbeds for once because i always start with dry vans and then uh, let's just do a little uh, twist here uh, so flatbed loads uh, when when you book a flatbed load um, i don't have much experience i uh, drove a straight flatbed for a while and i loaded them too uh, and uh, I know people who, who do flatbed loads, you know, with semi-trucks, so I know quite a bit, uh, but I, I, in no means I'm an expert for that. So, but what, what to, um, uh, when you book a flatbed load, uh, what do you have to uh, watch? Um, flatbed, flatbed trailers, uh, you know, like 53 uh, drive vans are um, standard in our industry you have some 48 uh, feet uh, vans but uh, flatbeds they have different sizes you know too so you have to uh, uh, be aware of, of the size of that flatbed okay whether it's 48 feet uh, or longer and then also uh, usually uh, uh, on on the back on on the tandems um, you know because most of them they cannot slide their tandems on the, on the flatbed on drive ends you can on the flatbed you can't and they uh, they're spread apart more uh, the axles uh, so that means that they can take more weight uh, on the back uh, than your regular drive end okay so uh, if they have a lot of weight they would uh, usually uh, push it back towards uh, the end of the trailer um, so you have to uh, be aware of the weight of the load um, you have to be aware of the size and now when i say size you know that means uh, the length the width and the height uh, you know in driving you don't have to uh, worry about uh, most of uh, these dimensions okay but uh, with uh, the flatbed you have to know uh, whether this load uh, you know if it's uh, long pipes you know if this can uh, fit on on uh, a flatbed how much can it stick uh, stick out on the back um, does the driver need um, anything special to mark it with uh, uh, what are the uh, requirements in in each state you know uh, for the load like how much can it uh, go over the back of the trailer or even of the side of the trailer so it's very tricky uh, f uh, flatbed drivers they like to do uh, you know a lot of uh, partial loads what we would consider in in drive and industry so they would uh, sometimes uh, be able to fit multiple loads on on that uh, one trailer you know if they are picking up one machine uh, that's uh, you know eight feet by um, I don't know, like 15 feet uh, length and width then you know they have more room uh, on the trailer to add uh, other stuff too so they like to do that you know they like to combine these loads and make more money so you have to be aware uh, when you talk to the driver how how big the the load is you know and then when they load is it actually that size and how long do they have left on their trailer to do another load okay um, then you also have to be aware of the height you know uh 13 6 or you know even 13 5 um, would be the maximum uh height you know probably 13 5 maybe even a, a little bit less on a flatbed but you have to talk to the driver about that and they have to tell you uh but then that includes the trailer so you know if your load is 13 feet <laughs> Hi, then that's oversized that cannot be put on a flat because you know the the trailer uh, is you know raised off of the ground so you have to know the driver has to tell you how uh, uh, much that trailer is off of the ground you know like how high is it and then you know 
then deduct that from from the uh, load height and all that. But so that, that that's a, a lot of things to consider. So you have to talk to the driver, you know, and they tell you that. Uh, and then you know when you do a flatbed load, you have to ask um, if the load has to be either. You know, it has to be secured in some way, definitely. So it, is, it, is it straps? Is it chains? Um, is it combination? Uh, does it have to be tarped? They have these big tarps and, you know, the driver has to physically go on top of the trailer and then just put these tarps, you know, to protect it from the weather. Um, and you, you have to, uh, if the broker does not tell you that, you have to ask, okay? Uh, so and then also uh, another thing you ask the driver is there anything else that you know you need to know when uh, booking a load like this so this is uh, something that you know we really really have to know uh, what you're doing you have to know these terms like you have to know these commodities when the broker tells you what the commodity is like is it coils you know pipes uh, machines um, then you you have to know what it looks like in your head, you know, in, in order to present it to the driver and in order to, you know, um, figure out, you know, like if you can add another load, you know, how is it going to be loaded, uh, things like that. Uh, and then uh, now about the um, reefer, when you book uh, reefer freight, you have to know what the commodity is every time, you know, with uh, dry vents, you know, if they tell you freight of all kinds, so, you know, uh, you know, uh, like, sometimes it's it's just okay to you know as long as it's clean um and palletized then you know and then it may be like when you when the driver gets to the shipper it may be total something totally else you know what they told you but you still do it you know unless it's something really bad uh but with reefers you have to know exactly what the commodity is uh, what kind of you know food pr produce so is it bulk uh, is it something else that needs to be uh, temperature temperature controlled? Um, and then, uh, because uh, sometimes, uh, like uh, meat, uh, like chicken, you know, the, sometimes some drivers will not do it, or, or like uh, fish, uh, you know, uh, sea products. Um, and then you, you have uh, watermelons, um, uh, some drivers, you know, will not do uh, something specific, you know, certain kinds of uh, loads. And uh, you, of course, you have to know uh, the temperature of the load. Does the uh, trailer have to be pre-cooled or not before the driver gets to the pickup, you know, so they tell you like, hey, pre-cool it to a certain temperature and the driver sets it. So when the driver gets to the pickup, uh, the trailer is already uh, cold enough for the product to be put into uh, the trailer is it continuous uh, temperature or not um, and uh, that that would be about it uh, as far as that goes you know of course you have to know the weight um, and sometimes they ask you for a certain you know like the, what kind of trailer is it you know does they have does it have the air chute inside um, um, e tracks uh, some some reefers you know don't have e tracks so uh, or or maybe only in the back uh, so th those are the, the the most important things that y you know as as a dispatcher for reefers uh, and then one more thing uh, reefer freight usually goes to these big uh, food warehouses and usually they have long uh, loading and unloading times uh, so the driver you know they're used to that they you know have to deal with that and then also odd delivery and pickup hours like in middle of night very early three or four a.m that's really normal in in reefer freight uh, multiple deliveries multiple stops um, that's also another thing when you do these loads uh, but you know they pay way more than driving so you know for drivers it's worth it and then also uh, you have to have um, a, a driver that's, you know, very good uh, with, you know, keeping up with the, the load requirements. Because these loads, if something goes bad, the temperature goes down. Sometimes they have trackers uh, uh, inside the load. 
and they will track you know the, the whole time like how much the temperature was and if something is not good you know they you know may just throw away the the load and you know put a claim on your insurance so you have to have a driver that knows uh, and then same thing with flatbed you know flatbeds uh, you know, very dangerous things. You, you, load has to be secured perfectly. Driver has to stop so often. You know, every I don't know, like every couple of hours or so, to make sure that the load is is tight, uh, strapped down. Nothing is hanging because if something falls off the truck, you know, it can kill someone. And uh, you know, you need to have someone that knows you know how to. Uh, do uh, flatbed loads and reefer loads as well and then drive and loads just standard um, you know uh, weight uh, commodity um, how many pallets um, um, like where does it pick up what kind of which company where does it go to um, delivery times um, uh, is it uh, palletized is it trash is it recycled is it bulk uh, is it in bags? Is it in totes? Is it racks? Um, so th those are all the questions that you would ask for drive-in. And then they just, um, you know, put them inside the box uh, trailer. Uh, driver has to make sure that the load is put in correctly as far as the weight goes. You know, the pallets are spread out correctly. And, you know, usually they have to put a couple of straps in the back. And you know you also they also have to make sure that the pallets are not going to move forward or sideways, and you know there's not much they can control as far as the loading goes. Um, so that that's uh, those are the basics about these loads. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Subscribe to the channel. Come back for more. I'll see you around.